The main mission of NASA Goddard's Astrophysics Science Division is really to execute NASA's mission, which is to answer the fundamental questions of how does the universe work, where do we come from, and are we alone? The thing that makes our division unique is really the breadth of astrophysics that we do here and the science team that carries out that astrophysics. Here at NASA Goddard, we're the world leader in leading and supporting astrophysics missions through all stages of their life cycle. So that's starting from the beginning, the theory that sort of sets up what we need to build. And then we also build the instruments in the spacecraft. We work them through integration and test. And then of course, after they're launched, we often operate the missions in space. And then comes the fun part, which is getting the data back from the missions to do the science that really furthers our, our goals at NASA of, of understanding the universe. One of the really important things that we do here at Goddard is the study of dark matter and the study of galaxies using dark matter as natural lenses. My own research uses cosmic telescopes. We use dark matter to be our telescope. How do we do that? So we use galaxy clusters, which are the largest bound things in the universe. They're really massive, and of course, most of that mass is dark matter. We don't understand dark matter, but we know that it interacts gravitationally. And so the concentration of mass in a galaxy cluster, that gravity uh, warps space-time. And the effect is that it deflects the path of light uh, that is traveling around the cluster. And so what that means is a galaxy cluster will act like an optical lens. It's the same equations. These sorts of gravitational lensing studies are one of the few ways that we have to try to understand what dark matter is. And it, it is this really, really perplexing problem that we don't know what most of the universe is made of. Most of the universe appears to be made up of dark energy, and dark matter, and only about 4% is stuff like us. So when we're using gravitational lensing to study distant galaxies, we're also studying the, the dark matter itself. We're gaining insight into what most of the matter in the universe is. Another one of the really important topics that we study here in the Astrophysics Science Division is gravitational waves. So we had this incredible discovery within the last couple of years of gravitational waves from merging neutron stars. Recently, several members of our division were part of the Nobel Prize winning team for uh, the first detection of gravitational waves from the merger of two black holes. Another exciting event happened, which is that the LIGO-Virgo collaboration detected a neutron star neutron star merger, which resulted in electromagnetic radiation being detected. The NASA Goddard Astrophysics Division had a very important role in this. We have the Fermi project here, and really the first tell that electromagnetic radiation had been detected from this object was from the Fermi Gamma Ray Observatory. Another thing that makes us unique here at NASA Goddard is the breadth of missions that we do. So we work on payloads that go on balloons and sounding rockets, all the way up to the largest and the most ambitious science mission NASA has ever done, which is the James Webb Space Telescope. The NICER mission, NICER stands for Neutron Star Interior Composition Explorer. Uh, it is a, an external attached payload on the International Space Station, and it's the first astrophysics mission that is uh, devoted, at least initially, to studying neutron stars. NICER is studying neutron stars, which are the densest matter in the universe. X-ray timing measurements of neutron stars will allow us to definitively determine the radius and mass of the neutron star, very high precision, which would allow us to understand how nuclear particles interact at the core of neutron stars, really unique laboratories in the universe. What I think is so unique about NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center and our astrophysics division is the tight connection between the people that are doing cutting edge research with the best data we have today from NASA's current space telescopes. Um, we are often the same people that are building the telescopes that we'll be using uh, in decades to come. The future here at NASA Goddard and astrophysics is really bright. We have several um, amazing missions that we're going to be launching here in the next few years. And then we're really looking forward also to the next huge astrophysics mission that we'll launch um, in the 2030s or so. And so everything we do here at NASA is really to, to further those big science questions that we have um, in order to learn more about our universe.